Welcome to the many of you who come from far away to this mythical land of Japan. We are here together strongly believing in the value of sharing and learning from each other, searching opportunities to share interests, experiences, and joint projects. Let me tell you that my own perspective, my work, my professional and friendship networks have always been enriched after each of our different conferences, from Bloomington to Zimbabwe in Oaxaca, from Bali to Chattanooga, Hyderabad, and now, incredibly, Mount Fuji. Since the very beginning in the last 1980s, the IEC, then ICP, has acknowledged the value of diversity and cross fertilization among sectors, disciplines, and regions of the world. This is a great strength and richness. It is also a challenge. There are many barriers hard to overcome to be international, intersectorial, interdisciplinary, and multimethod. To be academically innovative and vigorous while also relevant for people who are working in the field. For me, it is also fundamental that the IEC is able to learn from practitioners, to work with them as close colleagues and not merely case studies. In the last decade, the scope of the Commons has enormously and largely included constructed Commons, remarkably knowledge, information and culture. Many lessons result of two decades of work on terrestrial natural commons have been useful to understand these goods, new goods as commons, to identify the, challenge, the, to identify the challenges faced by their governance, fair use and sustainability. What is certain is that knowledge, and particularly knowledge on the commons, is the result of collective action. So we, particularly academics, are rarely evaluated or pay read based on or transborder efforts. But this is what, what IEC is about, and I am certain that against all odds, this is what gathers us here now in front of the magnificent Fuji 7. In the name of the research, in the name of the International Association for the Study of the Commons, I deeply thank our Onshinini and the Research Institute for Humanity and Nature as well as Dr. Margaret McKean for their generous welcome, for all the many hours of work, travel, meetings, I fully know they have invested in the 14th IEC Global Conference. I deeply thank all our Japanese fellows and scholars working on and in Japan for the unique opportunity they give us today to learn from this very unique country. From Japan's rich story of commons management, from the many stories of struggles to protect, recreate diverse commons and communities against the forces of power and nature. The coming four days are now our common resource, our common lab, our common chance to keep on building knowledge on the commons and for, co for the commons and commoners, to find ways to foster human capacity for trust and reciprocity, for collective action, urgently required to address many of the challenges of our planet and our societies. It is a big responsibility and a big opportunity that Onshirin and Green give us today. As I see, we, have already, we already have followed a rich and long road initiated by some great minds and spirits that are not physically present with us anymore. It is our time to honor this legacy and continue building bridges and understanding. Welcome to new IC fellows, to new comers to the IEC gatherings. Welcome to many dear friends, longtime members of the IEC Common. The travel starts. May the richness of Japan and the beauty of Mount Fuji San inspire us to work and have fun together. Thank you.